we have an interview with one of the superstars of this show, Joe Kosky. And we're gonna, we, he's agreed to a phone call with us. Uh-huh. And we're calling him right now. And uh, it's just, can't wait to... It's just ringing. You told him the time, yeah? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. What's up? Joe, hi. You're on the Theatre Review Week podcast with Zach, Mark, Judas and Broden. How are you, Joe? Hi, Joe. Yeah, pretty good. Joe Kosky. Now, Joe, we hear that you are one of the absolute shining stars of the new Andrew Lloyd Webber musical that's coming to Melbourne, School of Rock and Roll. And uh, we just wanted to get some of the hot goss that's going on behind the scenes and uh, maybe that sort of thing. Um, What can you tell us? What's the thing that you're most excited about bringing School of Rock to an Australian audience? Okay, we've got some technical oh. issues. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Look, there's lots of kids in it. And that's pretty good. Yeah. They're really they're really they're really clever children, aren't they? They play their instruments really very well. Yeah, great, Joe. Now, I want to know from you, what's it like to prepare for this role? Do you how do you get ready for a show? I want to know. Um, I think Joe thinks he's on a bit of a po- comedy podcast. Yeah, no, this is just having to a be bit clear, of a laugh Joe, there, Joe. It's uh, I'm glad you're having fun there. It looks like let, uh, let me just point out. <laughs> you woke me up. It's 11 a.m., Joe. I think that's on you. <laughs> that is on me, but like we're in the middle of tech. Yeah. Well, I want to know when you're playing Dewey Finn on stage every night. What yeah. preparation are you doing for that role? Are you listening to some ACDC? Are you, are you listening to Led Zeppelin? Of, yeah, bit of Motorhead, bit oh. of Motorhead, ACDC, bit of Led. Yeah. Wow. Got, got, got to get the lead out. And uh, yeah, essentially to prepare Broden, all I'll do mm. is um, just, just lock myself in a sauna. Because of what it's like being on stage for three hours. Yeah. Do we fin? Hey Joe, what are you being paid? Huh? What's your pay packet, Joe? Um, like weekly, sort of. If you could break that down for us. After tax. Bit... Yeah, not gross. Oh, wow. My alarm just went off, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't really get paid as such. Like they, they just sort of let me stay around. <laughs> <laughs> no, Joe, seriously. Uh, Joe, um, uh, it seems a little bit like you've been taken by surprise. Wait a minute, is that Yeah, mate. Hold on. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, man. How you hey. doing? Um, it seems a little bit like you've uh, been taken by surprise here, Joe. Um, were you not informed about this interview? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, mate. Yeah. No, it's definitely taken me by surprise, Zach. Thank you. Okay, it's just that we did get in touch with your with you last week. Mm-hmm. We lined this up, uh, so it's a little bit a little bit funny that you're asleep right now. A little bit yeah, unprofessional, unprofessional and uh, mean mean spirited. Um, but that's okay uh, because we're here to have a good time with Joe Kosky, who plays uh, Drewy uh, Finship on the <laughs> rock and roll musical Broadway show uh, School of Rock and Roll. Um, Joe, now. Yeah. We all know that you're a swinging bachelor, confirmed bachelor. Has anyone in the car stolen your heart? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I've had a girlfriend for three years, Mark. Okay, well, well, well. Uh, you got to tell us, Joe, what does it feel like to get up there and sing a rock and roll tune? I bet it feels pretty cool. It does feel pretty cool, Zach, but don't you guys know about that? Because you're uh, currently on tour with your album. Yeah, that's true. And tickets are on sale for our Melbourne show this weekend. So exciting. But, Joe, I want to know, I want to hear, with those pipes you've got, what is your highest, what's the (laughs) highest you have to get in this show? (laughs) 
Because you just belt. I know, like, usually people have to pay, what, like $120 to hear you belt out a high note. But we would love if you could give us and our listeners just a little taste of that vocal gold. Uh, yeah, look, I'll have to pay the full ticket price. Um, now, come on, Joe. Oh, come on, stop. Don't be a fucking, <laughs> hey. don't be a piece of shit. Don't be a fucking dog, Don't be a right? fucking cunt. Come on, man. Sing, a, sing a high Just... note from the show. <laughs> <laughs> seriously. No, no, seriously. I'm going to drill down on you here. Sing one of the songs from the show. Okay. Um, what? Are, what? Uh, which one would you like? Uh, the, uh... You fucking pick, mate. Um, I'd, what step about off. Te- what? Step off. Step off. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's in the actual musical, but that's good in, the, good in the film. Um, step off. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah. Have you seen the film, Joe? Yeah, I've tried not to watch it um, because I don't want to be influenced uh, by Jack Black's interpretation of his own character. Have you watched the um, Disney uh, TV show version in preparation? Is that that really a... I don't don't know if it's Disney. Might be Nickelodeon. Oh. Might be Disney. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I just... I don't know. One of those cartoons. No, it's like a... Not one of those cartoons. No... (laughs) Okay. <laughs> Not one of those cartoons. It's a live. <laughs> the oldest man thing you've ever said in your life, Joe Koski. It was one of those cartoons, Mark. <laughs> Joe, Joe uh, we'll let you get back to sleep. Um, good luck with the show, as we've been saying in the Australian theatre, Chookers. Chookers. <laughs> they used to give yeah, people uh, chickens before the show, Joe, which is, is where that- the term Chookers comes from. Oh, is that where it came from? Yes. Uh, if you were performing well, and uh, it was like chookers, you're going to eat uh, uh, you're going to eat chicken for dinner tonight because you're doing well, and then they would give people a bag of uh, of dead chickens. Joe, chicken chicken has only become the ubiquitous meat in the last twenty or thirty years. Before then, it was the special meat. Really? Mm, that's uh-huh. true. How do you guys feel about um, about chicken, though? <laughs> All right. Well, Joe, where can we buy tickets? Where can we get those tickets? What do we do, guys? I don't I don't know, Broden. I don't have to sell my own tickets like you plebs. Schoolofrock.com.au and what shows and what you've got a special promo code for us, I believe. What? If you go to schoolofrock.com.au slash shows and enter Joe Kosky, you get a 50% discount. Yeah, probably not. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, no. Joe, where can we buy those tickets? Um, yeah, on, on the internet, Broden. And yeah, you, I'll probably be on on Saturday, Sunday matinees and Wednesday night. So check it out. All right, okay, all right, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much. Thank you See so you, Joe. Much, Joe. Bye-bye. Hey, That's can't been wait. Joe Kosky <laughs> from the school. <laughs> really, really uh, interesting interview there with Joe. It's almost like uh, no one told like him. Like we, we surprised calling. him. Yes, yeah. yeah but oh, I forgot. He's in a rock. You were supposed to tell him. You were supposed to tell him and you forgot. I forgot because I was supposed to tell him and I forgot. You were supposed to tell him and you forgot. But, hey, yeah. that's okay. The Broadway train keeps chugging away. I thought we'd call Joe Kosky one more time. Well, I would like to get clarity on um, where we can get those tickets because I felt like he didn't completely It's, it's almost that. like we just ambushed him and he didn't know any Let's details. pretend like it's the podcast is finished. What the fuck, man? Sorry, bro. Sorry, we just threw that on you. Yeah, we just wanted to call and just say thanks and say sorry for 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 bothering you, but it was real fun and and thanks, man. <laughs> Don't be stupid. You're not going to air that, are you? That was shit. No, we won't air that. <laughs> you definitely air that. Um, uh, how's how's it been back in Melbourne? You happy? Yeah, man. It's good. And yeah. uh, good. and and how is the show going? You having fun? Seth, I actually am. Yeah. yeah. Right. Hey, well, since, since since we're off air, can you do the high note now? Fuck off. What? Oi. 
<laughs> Don't have to be rude. <laughs> Joe, what would you say is your favourite <laughs> favourite part about uh, being in a rock and roll musical? <laughs> Oh, oh, I hate you. We got you, Joe. You're back on the air because the people wanted more. We put you up for a little bit. They called. We got texts. We got messages. They wanted more Joe Kosky. So, Joe, tell us, how is it that you keep so fit night after night, do the same show, and manage to wow audiences every single night? I don't. I'm fat, man. I'm fat. I'm fat. No, Luke. you're not fat. You're beautiful. You're felt. I want to touch you in places that you didn't know existed. Wow. Joe, I want to know what's it like coming into work every day and being pampered, makeup, hair. <laughs> <laughs> you tell us, what is a routine for a Broadway superstar? <laughs> what happens? Just, yeah, it's not. <laughs> Joe, nothing. tell us some of those secrets of backstage. What's your rider? Now, a lot of people out there would be confused as to what a rider is, but a rider is, of course, something that the artists request that be in their change room before each show. What do you got in there? What, you got some chamomile tea, maybe a couple of sugar-free Red Bulls? Um, I've actually got nothing. Joe, when my- you're out on that stage... <laughs> How do you connect with an audience so big night after night? I've got to say, Joe, I often wonder, you know, I look at those football boys and they're in their, they're in their change rooms and it's just other boys patting each other on the bum. You get to perform with beautiful women. You get to sing wonderful songs. Really, Joe, I've got to wonder. Uh, 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 it sounds like a pretty cool job. It is a pretty cool Hey, Joe, I want to know what's it like with a big rock band every night. Sure, you're on stage, but you've got the best musicians in Melbourne. Tell me about them. They're pretty because good. Because it's, it's not really a musical in the traditional sense, is it? Because it's got rock and roll songs. It feels really like a rock and roll show. And who did the music? Wasn't it the wonderful Andrew Lloyd Webber? Tell me, have you seen him watching any rehearsals yet? No, he sent a representative over, though, to watch us. Joe, we've got to go. Thank you so much for being a guest on the Theatre People podcast. We'll catch you another time, and we'll be down to see School of Rock. But, Joe, if you could just say one thing to leave our audiences with a little something-something, what would that be? Fucking hate. And that was Joe. uh, Getting a bit rude there at the end. A little aggressive, but, you know, that is the, uh, that's just the way it is to be a star of stage and screen. Uh, We have one more special guest before we go on this podcast. Let's leave it as a surprise. We want to surprise you. We have someone. What? (laughs) Joe, hi. It's the boys from Auntie Donna here with our weekly podcast, The (laughs) Theatre Joe, the last time we had you on, we got calls, we got texts, people wanted you back. We got you back, and my God, we got you back that second time, and it lit the uh, call board on fire. And now we've got some questions from fans of the podcast that we wanted to ask you. Are you ready for them? Yep. Michael B. from Wentworth has asked... uh, Hang on, wait. Wait, from Wentworth? Hang on. <laughs> what what just happened there? What do they do? They tell their district. Wait, yeah, this. You, were you just in a car accident? Me? No, I'm turning on the shower, dickhead. Cool. <laughs> wow, the the, the, the I'm life of a little starlets. Bit of a aggression here. Just because Sorry. we didn't plan this interview and we woke you up. Uh, are you mad at us right now? No, no, I'm not. I'm just trying to get ready for work. You know. Work. Oh, oh, it's so oh, yeah. I love, love that you call it work. Like it's just your day to day job, but it's not like a regular person's day to day job. You go out there and you make people smile and laugh. You sing and you dance, but you call it work. Isn't that 
fascinating. What is it they say? Yes. Uh, what is it they say? Uh, 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 do what you love. You never have to work a day in your life. And I think that's true of our guest, Joe Kosky. If you're just tuning in, Joe Kosky is features in the wonderful music. Oh, wow, Joe. Ko- and, uh, tuning in. Hey, Joe, thank you so much for joining us. But let's get serious for a second here. Um, you know, it must be hard being on the road. You've been in a relationship for three years. You're on the road. You're going to different cities. Um, tell me, what are some of the challenges of being a touring performer? Um, probably the That's same fantastic, as you guys. Joe. Yeah. Okay, mate. Well, we have to run. Thank you so much. Uh, for... Yeah, enjoy that shower because I'm sure you stinky poo-poo. <laughs> you smelly yeah. piece of shit. Yeah, Joe, smelly, stinky poo-poo. Smelly, yeah, yeah. Joe, thanks so much for joining us on the Auntie Donna podcast. We want to leave our fans with something inspiring, a message from one of the biggest stars on Broadway. If you could say one thing to our audience, what would it be? Mark's a fuck. Okay. Uh, oh, all right. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, um, and obviously you can listen to Joe Kosky's solo project. Uh... Called Joe Kosky. <laughs> His uh, debut single, Inc., produced by Tom Armstrong. It's about He's octopus. It's about how octopuses defend themselves. Uh-huh. He plays a little bit. Of, uh, he, <laughs> if you watch the uh, video, he does some keyboard and he hits a little drum pad. He's got a guitar. He's wearing a guitar as a necklace. And just very quick, just because this will be the last one, Joe, what, where can people find your music if they want to listen to it? <laughs> On the internet. And that was Joe. <laughs> that was Joe Kosky. <laughs> debut solo. Debut solo uh, song, Ink, from Joe Kosky. I'm just going <laughs> to ring a music theatre performer um, and just tell him. <laughs> tell him our thoughts. And get his thoughts on the industry <laughs> and where it's headed. So this is Joe Kosky, who's a music theatre performer. He's in School of yeah. Rock touring nationally, internationally at the moment. Um he doesn't answer the phone as often as he used to. No, he, yeah, he, he, he knows um, often that we're putting him on the podcast. Um, <laughs> but let me ask you something, Broden. Yeah. You go for an audition, I go for an audition. Yep. I can sing, I can dance, I can act. You can act. Who are they going to give the part to? If They're going to give it to me. If I'm truthful. They're going to give it to me. If I'm truthful. Mm-hmm. They can, but I'm truthful. Mark, and I can sing, Mark. and I can dance. Oh, now let me answer this. Okay, you might walk in tomorrow and get that part because you can tap. Mm-hmm. In <laughs> ten years' time, I walk in there. I've had a, I've been, I've guested on every drama on television. I'm a profile. Mm-hmm. Joe hasn't answered. We'll just call him again. <laughs> <laughs> Zach's giving that call a five out of five <laughs> on Facebook. Excellent. Well, I mean, uh, can it I rang. just say one thing, Mark? Can I just say one thing to your point? It's interesting um, <clears throat> let you talk about that because do you know what? They can teach me the dance moves. Uh, they can get a singing teacher. Oh, Joe. Hello, hello it's Joe Kosky. <sighs> yes. Joe, I just wanted to say something, right? Yep. <laughs> I just wanted to say, are you, are you asleep? Yes. I just wanted to say, you can sing, you can dance, you can act, but that doesn't mean you're more employable. (laughs) Yeah, that's fair. Whereas, Joe, I disagree. I would say that there are some people that went for the part that you're playing currently in School of Rock, uh, what's the character's name? Rocky Morton. And um, there would have been some actors who went for it. They couldn't sing. They couldn't dance. And you got the part over them. Why? Because you're a triple threat. You're a triple threat, Joe. You can do all three just as well. But my argument, Joe, is that I can, I can do Shakespeare. I understand the words more. You might be good at singing and dancing in School of Rock, but if I was playing Dewey, I would be more connected to the words. Yeah, you would be. Joe, yeah. Joe, it's it's uh, Zach here. Hi. Um, we're joined by Anna Wolf Now, Anna Wolf uh, studied acting, but she also... Um, is a very proficient dancer. She does a lot of dancing in her live shows with uh, uh, the Very Good Looking Initiative. And uh, now, Honor, what are your thoughts on on those skills? Shut up. (laughs) What are your thoughts on those skills? And and, and, uh, what what do you have to say to Joe Kosky? Um, uh, As a a performer, I studied acting, Joe. Joe, is it okay if I call you Joe? I know you, Honor. It's (laughs) nice nice to meet you. You know me? Yeah. Oh, have we met? 
Not properly, but oh, yeah, Facebook Joe, and stuff. Oh, it's so nice to meet you, Joe. Um, oh, something's going to happen at Sleazeball. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of yours. Wow, it's actually incredible to speak to you, so... Um, yeah, Joe. Just very quickly, we've got to run. But where can we? Where can Joe, we? Where? Um, what? What maybe, shows? What shows have you got coming up? You're just gonna hang up, bro. <laughs> no, not. no, no, no. We, we've got to. Where's Where's School of Rock going to next? New Zealand. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you cut out. Oh, you did cut, cut out. out there. <laughs> um, we lost him. I had a connection with Joe. I feel that, that was that was electric, palpable. And you that- know what? That mm. he's a working actor. That he he's a working actor, and that's that's a <laughs> that's a really good that's opportunity. a really good opportunity there. He could he could connect he you could, to people. He, I could be in school of rock. But you know what? Oh. That was acting. <gasps> oh. There was no connection there. Wow. What? Nothing. So I now- feel nothing for Joe. Oh my. I hate Joe. Oh no. I felt the sexual tension in the room so much that it. Went through my body into my penis and gave me a raging erection. Wow! My nipples hard. Wow! And that's all acting. My you vagina, did that to yourself. Hard, hard, like plastic. Yes, wow. that's something you should speak. That's Is? not. Yeah, that's your vagina. Knock, knock. Who's yeah. there? Who's there? Who's? Vagina. Your wow. vagina. In this time, I'm just going to call Joe Kosky just in case he answers. <laughs> and tell him if he doesn't answer, great. I right? think he's on stage. Yeah, well, if he is. So. He might have just been staging that, I think. Yeah. Please call him. It's very funny. And if he is, then we say, hey, man, I've got finals fever. <laughs> it's too early. It can't be on stage. It's different. It's time. It's, he's in New yeah, Zealand. Still, that would be Wednesday like, matinee. Mid- midday matinee. All right. Maybe he's on stage. <laughs> Oh. Um, if you're listening and this is uh, bringing it up anything for you, maybe you have finals fever. <laughs> Give your doctor a call. Uh, my check in. My instinct is if he doesn't answer, we just never use this bit and we just come back. Yeah, come back and cut this. Yeah. Yeah, but this is pretty good. <laughs> I'm calling people. Uh, there's <laughs> nothing like sitting. He's on stage. Yeah, um, stage. All right, well, shall we come back in? I just want to. I just want to ask the listeners at home: Do you think we should cut that bit from the podcast before we put it out? You let us know. If so, let us know. Hashtag I like it when you sit and wait for Joe to answer, even though he's probably on stage. So yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If, if you're listening at High Fidelity in a JB Hi Fi or John's High Fidelity. Then uh, you're uh, you really you, you're going to be hearing that drill. If not, we apologise for the last two minutes of riffing. Mark, have any of you yeah. guys seen? Everyone needs to what? Well, I was going to say, have any of you guys seen the yeah. uh, musical oh, no. of High Fidelity? Yes. I've not. No, I don't know if we know anyone that knows the musical of High Fidelity. <laughs> Do you want to ring Joe Kosky? <laughs> I don't. I I think it's cruel. But I, it, does Joe Kosky know about? We I were mean, talking he knows about the music theatre man. We were talking about. There's only one way to find out. We we'll have to call him. We have to call him because he was in. A, the, we'll find out. Yeah, let's. Can we not? Uh, quite, uh, quite genuinely, and you can cut this bit later, Tom. Um, can we? Uh, can we not hang up on him? Really, like last time I spoke to him, I think he was a bit pissed off about it. Yeah, upset. Uh, when we hang up mid sentence. Yeah, no, he was yeah. like, I don't mind when you're cool and stuff. Uh, but he seemed genuinely just a bit. This so is the first quiet. time you're listening to the podcast. We're calling Joe Kosky. He's a star of stage and, and stage. And um, he's touring with School of Rock internationally at the moment. We went to university with him. He's massive. Matt, I don't have time. Joe? Joe? Joe. Mate. Joe, it's, it's Broden don't here. don't have time. Have you heard of the musical High Fidelity? Yes, I performed in it. I'm, it's my fucking 10-minute call, bro. What? Man. I'm about to go on stage, you fucks. <laughs> don't, uh, man. It's too early. Yeah, was, high, was High Fidelity good? High Fidelity was fine. It's No, it's, we're two hours ahead. Oh, we lost him now, unfortunately. <laughs> 
uh, Fat Hal, if that was set in a college. Stop talking about <laughs> Fat Hal. What's wrong with Fat Hal? It's, it's funny. A it's funny cause... movie. It's fun. It's, yeah. It's got... Um, if if there was ever Fat Hal the musical, our friend Joe would be in it. Because he's done Jack Black a few times. Has he? Yeah, he, did, he played him in High Should Fidelity. Should we ask? <laughs> and he played him in... Um, he played him in both High Fidelity the musical and... and uh, You're talking about Joe Kosky, superstar of the stage, who <laughs> tours with... Um, he's School currently of in Rock School of Rock. He has now played Jack Black twice. Is this correct? In well, yeah, he played both, him in he played him and in the holiday. Yeah, hol- the holiday, <laughs> Joe, the musical. Joe Kosky played Jack Black in the holiday, the musical. So, what are we asking? If if there was, I, I, I can, yeah, no, I got this. I Ask got this. He's played Jack Black. I more hope he than answers. In the, but not more than. T- yes, Joe. Hey man, what's up, Joe? It's Zach Rewain from Auntie Donna here, mate. How oh, are great. you? Yeah, I'm alright, mate. How are you're, you? you're on speaker. The other boys are here. <laughs> oh, that's strange. Hey, Joe. How are you? <laughs> hey, boys. How are you? Joe. Yep. Joe, I've got a question for you. Yeah. Are you familiar answer. with the film Fat Hal? What? G- Gwyneth Paltrow's in it. Fat Hal. Mate, what are you even saying? You know, Fat Hal. Uh, Fat Hal. He doesn't want to date the fat girl. He gets a voodoo curse. Fat Hal. <laughs> Isn't it shallow how? Fat. Fat how? He might not be fat on the outside, but he's shallow and fat on the inside. It's called fat how. Are you familiar? Uh, not really. Joe, yep. if there was a musical of fat how touring yep. Australia, China and New Zealand. Yeah. Joe, would you be interested in auditioning for the part of Jack Black? <coughs> um, fat how the musical. Time, right? Pardon? Oh, no interest in going. Oh, we lost him now. Oh, we lost him. <laughs> it's a shame. He's got you bad got, reception. You've got to get a better computer, man. Yeah. I've got a feeling it might be your computer. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> what was our idea? Uh, Fat Hal the Musical. Oh. <laughs> Stop talking about Fat Hal. Does Joe even have any buckets or does he just have a lot of baskets? He talks a big bucket game. Whether he's got buckets or not, maybe that's something we can find out. One sec, I'll just call him and ask. Okay. We're going to prank him later. <laughs> but then we but... will prank him. We'll find out if Joe has buckets. Can you check that... if he's free in, in 15 minutes as well for the prank call? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, mate. Joe, it's bro. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? Two quick questions. Two quick yep. questions. Do you, ha- do you own any buckets... Any buckets? Yes. Yeah, probably like a mop bucket. Would you say that you are a kind of person who is defined by the, your ownership of buckets? No, no, typically not. Okay. Second question: Are you free in about fifteen minutes? What do you mean? Are you Joe. free for a call in about fifteen minutes? Sure, mate. Joe, um, uh... it's, it's Zach here, mate. How are you? Yeah, pretty well, pretty well, Zach. How Zach, you, hey, so we've got our friend Jess Perkins here, and uh, oh, hey, Jess, yeah, hi, Joe, yeah. So she's gonna prank call you in about fifteen minutes. <laughs> okay, great. Is, isn't that what this is? Joe, no, 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 mate. No, no, no. This was mostly a bucket um, related conversation. This is a courtesy Joe, call. This is a courtesy call, <laughs> Joe, Joe. Slightly off topic. Yep. Um, would you define something with a tight weave as a basket or a bucket? <laughs> And would you say, as a bucket, thank you, and would you (laughs) say, yes, no, I heard you, and would you say that potentially a house is a bucket? (sighs) We lost him, man. (laughs) Um, All right, so... Back to it. What, is it your computer or is it his reception? Bad reception. It's bad reception. It seems to happen most times. (laughs) Starring uh, School of Rock. Mm. Uh, Jess... <clears throat> right. Let's prank this cunt. Yeah. <laughs> calling Joe Kosky. If you're just tuning in, we're prank calling Joe Kosky. <laughs> We've lost the fucking plot. <laughs> just waiting for Joe Kosky to answer like he said he would. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Oh, if he doesn't answer, that son of a. 
fucking bitch. I'll fucking kill him. I'll fucking kill him. Come on, Joe. Come on, you fucking dog. Yes, mate. Hi, Joe. Joe, it's Zach here. Hi, Zach. How are you, mate? Hey, mate. We're just prank calling you. Oh, We're yep. doing the Thank prank you. call. I appreciate the heads up. All right, so we're just going to hand you over to Sir Andrew Boy Webber now. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, oh, hello, Joe. It's Andrew Boy Webber. How are ya? Good, Andrew. How are you, mate? Oh, I'm all right. Thank you. Everything good with your family? Too, yeah. Too bad. So you're mad. You're mad. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm, good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad everything's good with your family, but I've, I do have some bad news because I'm angry at you, Joe. Oh, really? What about? About just you as a person. <laughs> And yeah, you in general, good, just really your, good, your yes. overall vibe is no good. It's crook. It's crook. Oh, wow. And uh, I've, act- I've actually, I've spoken to everyone else and you're fired. <laughs> everyone else? Yeah, everyone. All of them. Callum, <laughs> Greg, Sharon agrees. We're all very mad at you and you're terrible at your job. <laughs> and we actually, we stumbled upon a, a young man, an up-and-comer, uh, yeah. I think his name was Zachary Ruane, and we've decided oh, to go in a different direction and with my legend. accent and with the role. Okay, well, yeah, that. Joe, it's Broden Kelly here from Auntie Donna. How are you? You are on air on what? the Auntie Donna podcast. Just no. having a bit of fun. Just having a bit of fun. Oh, my God. How do you feel? That wasn't. I'm oh, sorry, we lost him. <laughs> Got it's good fun, isn't it? You've got to get your hat at that, Phil. Was that a real thrill? Oh, my God. I, my heart is racing. Can you see why we pranked you now? Yeah, I get it now. It was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Learn to take a joke, Jess. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've been a real fucking wet blanket about this shit. <laughs> fucking man. learn to take a joke, mate. What's your fucking problem? What is your fucking it's problem? Like, it's like, it's so fucking hypocritical for you to get prank called, be pissed off about it, come on here and then fucking prank people. That's <laughs> fucked, man. You are a hypocrite, and that is why we asked you here today to confront you. <laughs> It was never about Joe. Joe was a distraction. We don't even like Joe. I just did my best British accent for you. All right, so the number one is a montage of Joe Kosky phone calls. (laughs) All right? Really? That's fantastic. The reason I say that is because it's 6.11 in Australia. It's 6 a.m. I think we just keep calling him till he answers. (laughs) That's a good idea. He'll answer. He'll answer for sure. Let's hope he answers. It's 7.30 in the morning where he is. He is. Is this Joe Kosky? Oh, God. Joe! 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 Merry Pudmas, Joe! It's 7.30 in the morning. I thought Tom was dead. No, Tom's no, not no. dead, Joe. We have some very exciting news for you. Joe, you are going to shit your panties when you hear this. What do we got? Joe, the votes are in. Ooh. Us bullying you has won. Pudmus. Congratulations, Joe. Yay. Um, Joe, our fans love us calling you and uh, giving you shit so much that they voted you number one in this year's greatest podcast moments. Um, and we wanted to get your thoughts on how happy that's made you. Yeah, pretty thrilled. I, you know, a lot of people at Stage Door tell me, sorry, the Auntie Donna boys call you. Do they actually? <laughs> yes. They say nothing about the show. Well, there's probably something to uh, hold on to but, there, Joe. But, but they, but they apologise on your behalf, so that's very good of them. But they're oh. just in on the joke, and so you would say that most of the sales for School of Rock in Australia are thanks to this podcast. Probably, yeah. Wow, no. that's very interesting. Maybe a conversation we should be having with the producers of the show. Yeah, definitely. Now, Joe, um. Our fans have also voted. They were hoping that since you're number one, since you're their favourite recurring character, if you wouldn't mind singing a little bit of Stick It to the Man for us. 
Yeah, um, fuck. Excuse me? Oh, come on, come Joe. On, be Joe. a good on, sport. Joe. This be whole... Sport. Be fun. They love you. They love that you're a good sport. Don't be a fucking piece of shit in the last episode. And sing a little bit of... <laughs> fuck you, man. Joe, no we, Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe, come Joe. on. No need for that kind of language, mate. This is um, a family sh- program. We will let you get back to sleep. We know you had a big show last night. You probably brought the house down. But we want you to sing a little bit of Stick It to the Man for us and then we will leave you alone. And you can celebrate a beautiful... Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Just the first little verse. I really want you to die. All three. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we understand, Joe. Very fun. (laughs) He's a good mate. Um, Just just the first... Just a little bit. Just 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 a bar. And you're going to leave me alone after this? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. When the world screwed you and crushed you in its fist. That's it. What are you getting? Oh, come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Can, can we just get you up in that top register? No. It's seven in the morning. Joe, it's Joe. not where we are. Where we are, it's the middle of the day. So we need you to get that middle of the day attitude and just give us some top register um, sticker to the man. I'm not singing for you, boys. I understand, Joe. Do you want to tell us a little bit about why you're not singing for us, mate? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> it's seven in the morning. All right, all right, fair enough. Joe, why don't you just tell us about the upcoming shows uh, for School of Rock and where we can all see you? Uh, because our fans obviously really love you and they want to come and, and check out some more shows. So where are you on tour at the moment? So you can... Oh, we lost him there. Oh, That's we so lost him. What, what oh, that is. we lost that him. That always seems to happen. <laughs> oh, well. Joe, uh, very exciting, very excited there to be number one. And can I say, boys... Must be a dodgy line. No, sorry, mate. Thank Joe. you. Thank you for doing that, man. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. We're off now. We're off now. We called you um, when we were recording this, and we waited around for an hour um, to do it. But thank you. How are you going? Are you well? No. Why? What's wrong? I'm tired. Yeah, but we had the court. You were voted number one. How are you going? Is that? Oh, we lost him. <laughs> oh, damn. Unfortunately. <laughs> Cut out again. Bad line. Bad line. You know what, boys? I've got to say, all this talk of Joe and yes. this sense of a montage, uh, it, it really gets me thinking yeah. that I just can't be bothered with all of this. Oh. And there he is. He brought it back He's... in a way that we didn't expect, but he still brought it back. You're a Scrooge. From start to finish, Zach, and we really appreciate that kind of consistency here at the Auntie Donna podcast. A Merry Pudmas to you all, and a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas tomorrow with your loved ones, and uh, be careful on those roads. Sending out uh, a joyful message before we close this out with the Joe Kosky prank calls. Um, we hope you have a lovely Christmas, and, and we really love all of our fans. We, we love you all so much. Thank you for a wonderful year. Mm. Hey, man, what's up? Not much. What's up? Uh, essentially, I just wanted to call you very quickly to get you across something. So, uh, a... We just recorded a whole podcast about Zach going to back to Coles. As you know, he went to Coles last week. We did a whole musical about him going back to Coles. And, Zach? Yeah, and going back to Coles and with it with his receipt and flybys because he didn't have his flybys. We recorded a whole musical. <laughs> Joe, he was getting chips and dips and cake for the party. And so what we wanted to do just very quickly is run – because we, we had a malfunction. We recorded the whole thing. And then there was a glitch, and um, so we've lost it. It's corrupted. So, so the whole, the whole, the whole podcast is gone, Joe. We did a whole musical podcast. But what we wanted to just very quickly do, it was really good. Yeah, Joe, because because so sorry, Joe. Just to keep I can you, imagine. Yeah, Joe, just to keep you up to. Uh, sorry, just so it's clear, because I know you you've probably listened to them, but um, 
we, we had the we had the party, um, and then uh, uh, Zach had to get uh, j- uh, chips and dips and cake uh, for the party. But then we uh, flash back to Zach getting them going to Coles, and then and that was a musical. And then we did another musical of Zach going back to Coles with the flybys card. But he didn't have um, the flybys because card. he didn't have his fly. I'm so sorry. He didn't have his flybys card the first time he went um, uh, to Coles. And so uh, then he came back, and then and then Joe, um, and then uh, he went back. We did a podcast of him going back, getting a flybys card. We lost that, so we just wanted to make sure you were across what happened in in the in the second musical that goes to the Coles uh, storyline. Because we know you're a fan of the podcast, Joe. We know that yep. you you would have listened to last week's episode where I went to Coles, and at the end, of course, there was the big twist. You know the big twist. Are oh, the Joe? twists and turns? You you remember the twist? Yeah. What was the yeah. twist, mate? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't listen. It was. Do okay. you want to tell him the twist? The twist was that Zach was a guttural hole. Zach became a big hole in the ground with teeth. Well, Zach was the cavernous hole. Uh, so the cavernous hole from two weeks ago was Zach, mm-hmm. yeah, was, was Zach that. the hole? The cavernous time. hole with teeth, Joe. Sure. So sure, what okay. we just wanted to, if it's okay with you, if you've got a minute, we wanted to just run you through what that podcast would have been. Just so you know, yep. so next week when we when we do like a flashback podcast to to maybe Mark before the party or Broden before the party, we on, know- and, and it's on holidays, on holidays before the party. Mm. So, so we're what, just going to would- catch you up on 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 what happened to Zach after he became the cavernous hole in the ground with teeth and went back to Coles. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't take long. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This take like yeah. So essentially, uh, what happens is Zach is at home uh, uh, as a cavernous hole. He turns into a cavernous hole. All right. Joe, the movie is set around Route sixty six, a little uh, town, uh, an imaginary, an imaginary town called Radiator Springs, <laughs> where so, cars rule. So, Joe, mate, I know yep. you haven't been to California Adventure, have you? Were you? I, I missed that before. Have you been to California Adventure? That's the that's no. the second theme park at the Disney. Joe, Resort. Joe, Michael. he stays in the Cozy Cone Motel. Joe, Joe, so Mar- Michael Eisner, <laughs> Joe, Joe, Michael yeah. Eisner, as he, when he became CEO of Disney, decided that Anaheim needed a second <laughs> park. But Joe. they didn't have the money for Westcott, Joe. Joe, so Joe. they wanted to build a smaller park, Joe. For half the cost, half the mm-hmm. price, Joe. They were gonna do. They were gonna do. Uh, you know, Spaceship Earth at Epcot, Joe. Do you know that icon? It's okay mm-hmm. if you don't, mate. Joe, you know it. Joe. Yeah. He built. He built a park that was based. He found that many of the people coming through Disneyland were going on a trip through California. He thought, why not make California come to them, and then thus. Disney California Adventure Park was made. Joe, it was an idea from the brains of the CEOs and the bankers, Joe, not the Imagineers, and Joe. That's, that's where it all falls apart, Joe. Now, Joe, mate, Joe, you there? Yes. Are you still here, Joe? Yes, but it's a lot of hostility coming. You're going to have to speak up, Joe. Joe, we can't hear you over the yelling. We're just going to, just to get so essentially, Walt Disney created a Mickey Mouse character in the late 1920s. It was started as a very simple animation. It made its biggest build-in fan base when the talkies came in, Joe. Steamboat Willie, Joe. Joe, are you familiar with the talkies, Joe? Yeah. Yes. You're familiar so, with the talkies, jazz singer, that sort of thing. When he could make yeah. these animated pictures talk, that was when people started to flock to the films and he started to make money. He Joe! made Snow White, Joe. <laughs> Joe, he made Snow White. Snow White was the first feature that he did. Joe, is your phone on vibrate? Yeah. Can you turn your I'm phone on. off of vibrate? Joe. Very distracting, Joe. Joe. I'm fucking audition. I, I have to go shower. You have, have to go an, to an audition. You have an audition. Joe? What format? <laughs> I can't say. It's a Joe, TV show. Joe, put us on speaker. Leave the shower door open. Have your shower, Joe. I will. Okay. I will. What's the? Oh. T- give us a hint. What's it for? It's a TV show. I'm not allowed to say I signed an NDA, you fuck it. All right, Mr. Bloomberg. Is, is, Joe, is, good luck with the audition, Joe. <laughs> Joe, what songs are you prepared? No songs. Oh. oh, it's an act. It's a talkie, Joe. So you're yes, familiar with the talking. talkies then? Well, he's in the biz. He's yes. clearly so, in the biz. Okay, so just to recap. Joe! Walt, Walt Disney created Walt Disney Pictures. 
Now, Joe, yep. are you familiar with the pictures, mate? Yeah. So basically what that is, is if you take a still frame, if you take a still frame and you put one after the other, Joe. Are you in the shower, Joe? Yeah, yeah I'm just getting in. Okay. Joe, so if you take a still are, are, frame. Are you going to shampoo or just a body wash? Uh, I'll, use, I'll probably use a shampoo and some body wash, yeah. Do you shampoo your beard? Huh? Do you shampoo your beard? Uh, yeah, not every day, but... I not do, every yeah. day, yeah. Joe. Joe, take your time. Get that temperature right in the shower, Joe. Joe? Don't, don't want to burn your skin. Don't want to be too cold, Joe. Although, the health benefits of a cold shower, Joe, are quite numerous. Joe, if you have been masturbating a lot lately, clean under that foreskin. It's important, Joe. Don't want to get the dick no. cheese, Joe. No. Joe, Joe, the residue. Yep. So Zach, no. So Walt Disney, no. So moving pictures, Joe. If you put Did the you just still, get Zach confused with Walt Disney. What? Did you just get Zach confused with Walt Disney? No, no. Joe. I skipped too far ahead. We're giving you the pretense. You have to right. understand what talkies are. You have to understand what the moving image is. Yeah. So you need to understand who Walt Disney is. You need you been... to understand the history of the Walt Disney theme parks, Joe. Have you been to Acme? Okay. No, I haven't. Joe, okay. Acme is the Australian Centre for the Moving Image. I would recommend going there. Joe, they have a video games exp- exhibition there, Joe! Joe, it's, it's, it's essentially 24 still photographs in succession within a second. Joe, yes. are you familiar with a photograph? Yes. Great. Well, great. well that's wow, fantastic. Okay, well, great. that's all right. So, Zach? So, the way a photograph <laughs> works... <laughs> oh, Joe, yeah, is they take the light and they put it on a thing. Joe, just while I've got you, are yeah. you going to attend the Ballarat University 10-year reunion? Is that a thing? Yes, you've been invited on the Facebook group. I saw Joe. I didn't believe them, Joe. They said to me that their year level was doing a 10-year anniversary. The acting school we went to, Joe, is having a reunion. I thought all that the, All the people who are no longer actors. <laughs> I thought that was the silliest thing I've ever heard. I said, you must yeah. be pulling my leg. Joe, Apparently it's real Joe. Joe, mate. Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. Yeah. Joe. Joe, are you there? Joe. Yeah. Joe, we lost you there, mate. Joe, mate, can you hear me when I talk down low like this, Joe? That's actually a lot nicer. Yeah, oh, okay, nicer. good. Well, Sorry, we weren't sure if you could Sorry, hear us or not. I didn't know if you could hear me. Joe, um, I need to talk to you about an opportunity. Okay. Okay, Joe. I would like for you to audition for the part... Of the cavernous hole. Wow. When we right. re-record the podcast, mate. Yep. Yeah, would you be open to that? This is a big oh, opportunity yeah. for you, Joe. Now, Joe. Joe, Joe, mate, we can't pay you. It's a very low budget. Podcasts don't really pay. I hope you understand. But we do have an Auntie Donna Club, which is a private area, Joe, mm-hmm. for the hardcore fans to come and have a more intense relationship with the three of us. And just for you, Joe, Joe, you can join for $6.90. And that's yeah, just well, for you. Since none of you ever fucking call me to see how I am. Joe, 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 shush, Joe. Shush now, Joe. What are we doing right now? What What are we doing right now, Joe? You're calling me to annoy the shit out of me. No, 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 no Joe. Joe, no. We're running, just Joe. to clarify, that is Joe. not the reason, Joe, we're not calling to bother you before an important audition for television, Joe. What we're doing is filling you in on a musical that we made before. To, who, yes. About about Zach as being a whole, taking a card to, a flybys to Coles. Now, Joe, okay. Joe. Sure. Joe, Bob Iger just stepped down effective immediately a few weeks ago, Joe. Right. Who replaced him? This is a two-part pop quiz question. Who replaced him and what role did they have before taking the role of CEO of Disney, Joe? Uh, just well, you'd assume maybe they had something to do with Disney. Are like you putting on the- clothes, Joe? Yeah, I am. What are you wearing? Yeah. Dr- Joe, um, are you dressing as your character for the audition? <laughs> or are you just sort of uh, bringing neat casual attire? Uh, 
I'm sort of like, yeah, just cash. Is just it a cash. screen test? Yeah, yeah, it's a screen audition. Joe, is this a callback? Have you auditioned for this row previously, done well enough to get a callback, which in Australia are paid for, Joe? Yeah, no, this isn't a callback. This is a first round. All so the I'd best really to you, up, Joe. Cool, thank you. Joe, I'll um, give you a hint. His last name is Chapek. Oh, Bob Chapek. The, ah! Um, it was a media executive. Uh, no, Joe. I'm talking about yeah. him. Yes, for a time he was the media executive in yeah, the no, early so, 90s, yeah, yes. you fucking dingbat. I'm talking about the role he had immediately preceding the CEO, CEO role, you fucking nong. Joe, I know the most about Disneyland. Yeah, I, it's not yeah, true, sure. Broden. I know I won a quiz. Broden, that's not true. I won a quiz, as our listeners will know. Oh, yes, you did. Joe, I'd love to hear a little bit of the monologue you'll be doing today, Joe. I can't. Can you make it up? Oh, the NDA. Oh, I can't do it because of the NBA. NBA. Can you? Can we can't the, do it because of the NBA. <laughs> That's right. Is it a basketball movie, Joe? It is. Yes, yeah, Air Bud Four. Are you the dog, Joe? Because you dogged me with that media answer, Joe. Yeah, sure. Is it an Australian production or is it an American production, Joe? American. Oh, oh Joe, Joe, this is such a big opportunity for you, Joe. You probably would like to be focusing on the audition, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would, yeah. Joe, Joe why don't you run your lines with us, Joe? We can help you. We are all trained Mark, Mark, actors. No, Joe, if you'll allow, he signed an NBA. Oh, he signed the NBA. How could I forget that Joe, having signed with the NBA, he can no longer... Do his monologue for Joe, us. Joe, I'll give you a hint, okay? He yeah. was the chairman of the DPEAP. <laughs> the is that DPEAP. Tom? Oh, is that you, bro? <laughs> no, Tom is not here. He has severe migraines and is bedridden. He's sweating oh. a lot. He's been vomiting. He's been vomiting Sam, all Sam day. Sam Lingham is here. Would you like to say hello to Sam? Hey, Sam, what's up? Hey, man, just uh, recording the podcast, having a good time. How are you doing? Oh, Joe, we are recording this. Oh, this is for the podcast, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Do you Joe? give permission for this to be broadcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts and other podcast networks, Joe. I don't recall ever having given you permission for any of it. But Nor do we it need it, Joe. <laughs> Nor do we <laughs> need it. It's a courtesy that we're asking. It's a fucking courtesy, Joe. <laughs> yes or no? I can pull the least don't you can do. Don't fucking swear at me, Zach. <laughs> don't you fucking swear at me, Joe. Right, Joe, it's all right. Joe, Joe, Joe. 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 Mate, sorry, it's Joe. Right. Sorry, Joe. Sorry, Joe. I was just playing, man. Were you? Yeah, man. I was just playing, man. Sorry. Right. Sorry if that upset you, Joe. Genuinely. Sorry, man. Legitimately, though, if you do need to go, that's completely fine. Oh yeah. But how, but, but first, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if we. I'm sorry if when we call, we don't ask how you are. It, I, I, are you doing all right? Genuinely, genuinely, how are you, man? I'm pretty. Oh, we lost him. <laughs> oh, we lost him. <laughs> Lost Unfortunately, him. we lost him now. We lost oh, him no. Now. We lost him. Joe will never know that Bob Chapek was a part of the Disney parks and experiences and product. What a shame. I hate is Oh, God, the internet here just is no good. We really got to get that looked at. Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do. You may say I'm a dreamer. But I'm not the only one. Joe Kosky. So yeah. what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get them on and we're gonna get them to share their favorite memories of the podcast. They are all waiting at their phones, ready to answer. And uh, who is the first person we'll be calling into today, Broden Kelly? Well, we wanted to hear from everyone's favorite guest, a guy who uh He's never short of a word or a song. He's the star of School of Rock. And we got him on the phone a little earlier to share a special message about the Auntie Donna 200 episode podcast. 
We can't wait to hear from Joe Kosky. He is waiting there, ready to answer. Just uh, whenever he he's waiting at that phone, ready to share some of his favourite memories. Hi, you've reached Joe Kosky. Leave a message. Okay. So he obviously you let him know. Say. You let him know we were calling. Uh, well, that was that was on me. That was and yes, I did. I, I shot him a message, and that's fine. Joe sometimes gets a bit forgetful, and that you know you wouldn't what. We wouldn't have, uh, you know, it wouldn't be a, a, a up, podcast up, without Joe. Yes, you know? yes, that's, that's right. That's Joe, right. W- the thing we love about Joe is he's the kind of guy that would forget about something like this. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's very <laughs> on Joe to do very that. Very busy know? as well. Very busy boy, <laughs> lots on his plate. So I'm sure uh, it just slipped his mind. But uh, we'll try him again later. Let's give Joe yeah. Kosky another try. <laughs> Joe, welcome we just want to know what your favourite memories of being on the Auntie Donna podcast have been on this 200th episode. How, how did I fall myself into thinking you are actually calling me? <laughs> There's a lot of fun there. But Joe, how is it going for you? What are you up to did at you, the moment? Did you send him the message, Zach? Um, um, yeah, I think so. Locked Sorry. On. I was hung up on Joe there. Did you, let's clarify. Have you called everyone? Did you call? Yeah, him? Look, uh, I, I'm almost certain. I, I was. I sent it from from my email, um, and I, I sent it. I put in everyone's names. I, I, for some reason, it looks like Mish didn't send. I'm seeing now in my junk. It has a. But it sounds like Joe didn't know either. It sounds and like Joe obviously know. hasn't answered his phone. Why don't we call up someone who <laughs> loves to have a chat with us while we're waiting? He uh, he's the star of stage. In Australia, he's been in of School course. of Rock, Jersey Boys. Uh, his name is Joe Kosky, and we've got him on the phone. When he answers, right now, Joe. Hi, you've reached Joe Kosky. He's block. He's fucking blocking your calls for sure. He's pissed. Um... He's pissed. You got to. You always got to let him know before you call Joe. Uh, Sam Lingham, we yeah, know. Give Sam a go. Give Sam. A Sam, go. Tom, I can try Max. Tom, yeah, I'll try Max. I got I'll Sam. line up Max, got Sam. and then you do Sam. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Broden. Sam, hi. Hi. How you doing? Um, it's you're on the Andy Donna podcast. Can you? Is someone calling you. Have a second yeah. call. Yeah, yeah Joe. Uh, Sam, I got to leave you. Joe. Is this? Come on, man. What's up? Um, can you sing a song in tribute to our podcast? <laughs> to who? To like to it's, podcast? Yeah, it's 200 episodes and you just like sing a tribute to song like saying like all the best. Nah. No. No. Nah. No, I'm not going to do that. Please? Uh, yeah, yeah. I got Ben. I got Ben. Hello. I got Max. So hang so, up on Joe. Joe, I got to hang up on you. Oh, so who you, you call? call? Who did you call? Did you call someone? Oh, I'm always calling Joe Kosky. All right, and yeah, he's gonna. And speaker. to close us out, yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah, just to close us out. Yep. We're all finished with the podcast now. Thank you for doing that. It's our two hundredth episode. Yeah. Right. Um, we have actually finished recording now. We're doing like little. We're doing proper little snippets of people saying thank you. So we got Cat, our manager, and we got like um, we got Tom to do one, and Sam and Max. Can you do like a happy two hundred? And you can do a little, little joke about us calling you too much or something like that. Sure thing. When you're ready. Happy two hundredth show, you bunch of dogs. Thanks for calling me all the time. Uh, I hope it ends now. <laughs> Love you. Ah. Uh, what, did that cut out there? Yeah, cut out, unfortunately. That was shit. That's a shame. Is he uh, a, is, a I'm going to have to phone a soprano. You're going to have to phone a soprano? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I got, well, or, well, the floor is yours. Okay. I'm going to call my, uh, one of the guys from down at Bada Bing. This guy knows all the answers to all them kinds of questions. Okay. His name's... Tony Patoni. <laughs> I hope Tony answers. Oh. Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> so this is... So 
Oh, you've reached Joe Kosky. Leave a message. <laughs> Tony, I'm on. Fi- uh, who wants to be a millionaire? I gotta know. Who, what was the question? Uh, who is Andrew? O'Ke- who what is, is Andrew O'Keefe? He has an uncle. Who is Andrew, Andrew, Andrew has an O'Keefe? Uncle. Andrew, O'Keefe has an uncle. <laughs> Andrew O'Keefe has an uncle. Call <laughs> me back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm nervous. He's not going to be able to hear me. This is not really my thing. No, he's not going to be able to hear you. He just hears me. Zach, my beautiful man. Joe, you're Shrek now? <laughs> you're Shrek? Yeah. When when you Shrek? Um, I don't know. Not long ago. Why are you Shrek? This is a job. But Joe Shrek now? Yeah. So I'm watching Joe. I'm so happy that you're Shrek. But Thanks. why not a message? I'm sitting on story on my Instagram. I see Joe. No more Joe now. Shrek. Yep. Yeah, that's that'll that'll happen. Oh, he's that's pissed off baby. at you. He's so mad. This isn't a. Joe Are you pissed call. off at me, Joe? No, I'm just that. I'm so sorry. I really want to catch up with you, and I. I really felt I bad. This I going to happen. Broden's not here, so he's usually the one that does the crank call, but he's pretty good at aftercare, I believe. He calls you up afterwards, he says you do it, and I feel bad because I haven't reached out to you in a while, and, and the first call I do is a crank call. Uh, so this is all a joke? No, no, it's not a <laughs> joke, so Joe. I love you, and I'm so proud of you. I just I'm need so clarity. Are me. you Shrek now? Yes. Where did Joe go? Okay. Is Joe inside Shrek? Yeah, yeah, inside. Is it still Joe? Are you still there, Joe? Yeah, just just on the inside. The musical's never going to happen. Ask him about the musical. Are you in the musical, Shrek? Ask him about your musical. Yeah. Are you in the musical, Shrek? No, the musical you want to do with him. Now, Joe... Mm-hmm. Sorry, I do need to. I want to talk to you about the fact that I want to collaborate with you on a musical one day. But I don't want to. No, Mark, I don't want to blur this. I don't want him to keep thinking I'm joking. Just bring it up. No, because if I bring it up in a crank call, he'll be like, for sure he's joking. But it's not. I do want to work with you on a musical one day. I want to collaborate with you, Joe. And I was saying that I think this is going to set us back on that journey by crank calling you. Is that the case? Possibly. Yeah, you not like me anymore, Joe. No, I'm not a fan. I like you, Zach. You do like me? Yeah. It's such a shame. Why? Because you're Shrek now. <laughs> you go off with Fiona and Donkey instead of me. Yeah, but... So, Joe, here's my other question about you as Shrek, right? Mm. You're, now, you're Shrek now, yeah? Mm-hmm. I went on Instagram of Shrek AU and the, there hasn't been a post about a new Shrek show. <laughs> You're just saying, sorry, we've cancelled the shows. Are you just Shrek for fun? Are you just Shrek for fun, Joe? Yeah, just my living room. Joe, wait a second. I want to see if Mark has any questions for you. Um, uh, not, not really. Just can you... Can you confirm with Joe whether or not he's Shrek now? Okay, so Joe, I've got one question from Mark. He's he's on the other end of a Zoom call. Um, can you guess what the question might be? If I'm Shrek. Are you Shrek? Yeah. Are you Shrek for fun or for real? Depends. So when you are Shrek, mm-hmm. yeah, do you sing Smash Mouth? Yeah. Yep. Ask him that. if he's fucked a nun. Yeah. Joe, have you fucked a nun? <laughs> no. Um, Does he have a fantasy about it? Do you have fantasies of fucking nuns? No. Um, anything else? Do you have a good uh, Donald Trump impression? Do you have a good Donald Trump impression? I guess. Would you like to do it for us? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-uh. 
Oh, we lost him. Oh, we him. lost him there. That's so unfortunate that we lost him. Um, I, hate oh, I really happens. wanted to hear his... Um, it would have been good too. He's a great actor. He can do Shrek now. So I think... Oh, we didn't get him to do the Shrek voice. Oh, my God. Do you want to give him a call? See if he'll do the Shrek voice. <laughs> Mark, it's important. I'm for so Auntie uncomfortable Donna. with this. I'm so uncomfortable with giving him a call. I can't even explain. You just to give you. him a call, say, do the Shrek voice, and then once he's done it, you get out of there. Alright. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh Joe. This is Mark, is it? Yeah, it's Mark, Joe. How are you? Yeah, pretty good, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm sorry to be crank calling you. I, I know we don't. I know we don't talk too much outside of the Auntie Donut podcast, and I feel a lot of guilt. I feel a lot of guilt uh, that the first call that we've had in a little while is a crank. Um, so I just want to apologise for that straight up, if that's all right. Joe, I love you, man. I love you too, Joe. Um, we were wondering if you could do something for us because we know you're Shrek now. <laughs> we were wondering, could you do the Shrek voice for us or do you, did you sign an NDA <laughs> that, that stops you from doing the Shrek voice? But if you could, do, if you signed an NDA, I understand. But we're Hollywood people. We we're, know. we're Hollywood people. We understand NDAs. But if you were able to do the Shrek voice now... Um, because you're Shrek now. We would love to just hear a little bit of that. Sure thing, man. Like, this is tired Shrek, though, right? Okay. Um, so just imagine that I'm in a big green, big green suit. Okay. And this is, this is a bit of the opening narration of the show. All right. You going to hang up on me? No, 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 I'm not going to hang up. I really want to hear Shrek now. Feel free. I'll give you a couple of pauses so you can hang up at any time, right? Yeah, keep the phone close to your close to your mouth, um, Joe, just so it comes through properly. Because I do. I'm not going to hang up on you. I promise. I really want to hear Shrek now. Sure, sure. Here we go. Right. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a little ogre named Shrek who lived with his parents in a box by a tree. Oh. It was a pretty nasty place, but he was happy because ogres like nasty. It's really good. That was go. I love Joe. I want to say that I love that you've put your own spin on Shrek now. Thanks, man. Like that's just it's just how he rolls when he's tired. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look, can, um, that's wrap really good. What did you say, Zach? Wrap it up. Yeah, okay, I'm wrapping it up. <laughs> um, Zach told me to wrap it up. Um, I'm really excited. It. Joe Shrek, I, we, we get, get it. it. You're Shrek now. We get it. You're Shrek now. Great. Um, did you have a Donald Trump impersonation? Yeah. What? I can't hear. Joe, you've got to talk into the phone. I am. That's specifically what I'm doing. All right. Well, what's this? What's your Donald Trump impersonation? Oh, uh, I'm fucking out of all- Oh, we lost him. We lost him. We lost him there. I would have loved to have heard that, but <laughs> unfortunately we lost him. We lost um, Joe. Joe. We Kos- get it. He's Shrek now. In. Fuck him, whatever. We were talking to Shrek himself, Joe Kosky, who is Shrek. Mark, I have had... Hey, go follow Joe. I feel guilty, so I want you to go follow Joe on Instagram. Follow Joe on Instagram. He's at Shrek now. Um, at, if you at Shrek now, at Shrek now, on Instagram. I feel guilty, so I want you to go follow at Shrek now, and then and then I'm gonna. That's gonna assuage some of my guilt. Is that the right word? Yes. Assuage. Yes. Assuage. assuage. Julian Assage. Some of your guilt. Some of my guilt. I'm calling Joe. Calling him on Facebook. Is that an issue? Joe. Joe, he's answered, but he's not saying anything. Have you Joe, got a speaker. Yeah, Joe, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake! Oh, fuck. Maybe. Does someone else want to call Joe? This is a fucking hot mess. Right, I'll call him. Do you want to see if he'll answer your 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 phone call? 
It was really rude that he didn't answer. Hello? Joe, thank you for uh, <laughs> speaking to me today. Are you in a bathroom? Joe, no, I'm not in a bathroom, but I do have some questions uh, that Bro. need to be answered Bro. on the podcast now. Bro. Bro. Are you going to ask him if he's Shrek now? Ask him. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Joe, I have a question for you, and I need you to uh, honest answer, Lee. Good one. <laughs> honest answer, Lee. <laughs> Are you Shrek now? <laughs> yes. It's straight out, oh my straight out of the ogre's mouth. Straight That's true. Shrek, I guess, now. Ask him if he's Shrek now. Thank you for your time. Ask him if he's Shrek now, um, bro. But we have one more question. <laughs> we have one more question. Is it if I'm Shrek now? Hang up, Goose. hang up, hang up. <laughs> oh, he's shit. on to it. He's on to us. He's on to us. Let me. Oh, no. Oh, God. He's oh, on my God. <laughs> That was, so that was so scary. That was so fucking scary. He's going to come kill me. That He's going to so crush me with his ogre hands. I'm going to give him a call and apologise. All right. Hi, I've got a question for him. Ask if he's Shrek. Joe, can you hear me, mate? Yes, of course. Hey, I can. buddy, it's, it's Zachary Wayne here, mate. Yeah, I know. It comes up with your name, Zach. <sighs> All right. Here's, here's what's going on. Okay, so I'm doing a podcast. You're on the podcast right now, by the way. Just want you to Thank know. you. Wouldn't Jeez, want to. Because you call me so much when we're not on the podcast these days. <sighs> we're going to get into that, Joe? Yeah, oh, we he... can. He's Look, being I'm a sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't know. I, I struggle to get in touch, but you, you're free to call me, man. You expressed all this guilt in the last one. <sighs> okay. All right. Let's talk later. Let's talk later. But can we try and keep it up for this one? What do you mean the last one? I don't know. <laughs> so, I didn't have the heart to tell you, Broden, but we know Joe Shrek. What? We found out Joe was Shrek last week. You know Joe Shrek? Yeah, we've known Joe Shrek for like two weeks now, man. Well, I'd, I'm just ask him. Mark, we know Joe Shrek. We I talked know... to Joe last week about him being Shrek. Yeah, but I got I forget sometimes. I forget these things. No, you knew. We were humoring Broden. He went to all that effort. He spent all the patrons' money to find out Joe was Shrek. Uh, we had to humor him. Joe, can you just stay on the line, please, man? That's all. Okay, okay. so Mark, <laughs> yeah. I think it's time we own up to Broden that we know who Shrek is. <sighs> all right. Bro, we what do you want? What is it, boys? The facade is down. <laughs> we know Joe Shrek. We've known about Joe Shrek now for like six, <sighs> six to eight weeks. Yeah, we've known Joe I've... Shrek for ages. I called up Joe. We chatted. We had a tour. Does Joe know he's Shrek? Well, Joe knows he's Shrek. Him. Yeah, he did Shrek for for us. Um, yeah, I'll ask him in a minute. Um, he he <laughs> did. Sh- Are you there, Joe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He did Shrek for us. He, like, did Shrek for mm. us. Mark called him. I called him. We we know Joe is Shrek. But you'd gone to so much effort, bro, and I didn't want to... <sighs> I don't know what to say. I think there's one thing to say. Yeah. And that's Joe Shrek now. <laughs> that's true. I mean, we needed that backed up, I suppose. I mean, in a way, I knew he was Shrek. Just asking how many how many weeks are we going to do this for? Uh, would oh, you I say? Don't know. I don't know. Uh, just I'll be, Joe surpri- Shrek I'd be now. surprised if there's another week in this. I'd be very surprised. Uh, yeah, you never know, though. I, I you do never keep know. It going, Joe. We are going to need you in a minute. Are you still there, mate? Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> Because that's my question. Do we want to have another week of Joe Shrek now? Will he next still week? be Shrek uh, now next week? I don't know. I got. Can, 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 can you ask him when? Can you ask him when Joe that. stops Shrek now? Do Do any of you guys know when Sh- Joe Shop stops being Shrek? Sorry, Joe. We're just working out some details of the Joe Shrek now bit. I think he told me that he's going to be only Shrek for a few weeks. Yeah. Oh. Um, but I don't know if he started being Shrek But you Shrek could just now. ask him. I, I don't want to bother him. I don't want to bother him. He's on the line. Guy. Are you on, on the, the line, line, Joe? Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just ask what? him. Ask him. 
Ask ah, him fine. if he's Shrek now and ask him if he stops Shrek now when. If you, you are perfectly free to ask him, Mark, you can call him. Just, Just ask call him, him now. Give him I'm a not call. I'm going to fucking call him. I don't have my phone. Ah, fine. Uh, Joe, I have a question for you. Mm. Are you going to be Are you going to be Shrek next week? Yeah. All right. Well, then it's probably important that we check in with him next week. Do, are you going to be free <laughs> around this time next week for us to check in if you're still Shrek? Could you Could you let me nice. s- like sleep for a bit and then call? <laughs> okay. Ask him. If we're going to ask- book it in. Ask him, is the swamp a bit too drafty? A normal time? What's a normal time? Well, let's put it this way. Ask him if he's swimming, hours, sort of sleeping in a swamp. Because I'm Shrek. Yeah. Uh, later in the day, yeah. I, I perform on a stage. You know how it is. Yeah. Late, yeah. Later, so I wake up a bit later or... Yeah, it's like shift work. Yeah. What does he mean by performing? Uh, yeah. Jo- Joe, are you sleeping in a swamp? Is that part of the issue? <laughs> ask him if um, Do you know what we might need to do, gentlemen? What? Yeah We might need to keep doing the podcast And go back to silly characters For the main podcast next week But maybe we start to make a ten minute mini Where we Check in with Joe do little check-ins Check in on, with Joe Little yeah. Joe check-ins every Saturday <laughs> <laughs> Ask Joe if, if he would because be alright Because I don't want that. this I don't want people to stop talking about this Joe, would you be okay with us to check in every Saturday? Find out if you're a Shrek just get a Shrek update. We, we'll be putting it out on Saturday, so we don't know when we'll be recording it. Great. What time's too early for you, mate? This. This? This is too early, yeah. Can you ask Joe if he sings Smash Mouth? Okay. Joe, do you sing Smash... Do you sing... Oh, it's hard. Sing... 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 Do you sing Smash... Do you sing Smash Mouth? Yes. Great. These that's that's pretty much confirmation for me that he's Shrek now. Can you ask you I can you ask him if he's Shrek now? Joe, are you Shrek now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joe, we're gonna start doing weekly Saturday Joe Shrek now updates. Are you okay with that? Great. Sounds like a real plan. All right, but we'll we'll call you a little bit later in the day, maybe, maybe. Um, sorry, just so everyone knows, we recorded this at five p.m. So, uh, oh fuck you, man. <laughs> yeah, no, he likes to sleep. Joe likes to sleep. I understand. What does this show goes till like eleven p.m.? So you need this. I understand. Ogres need to sleep a lot. Just a little joke. Me. We record. We're recording this at at eight. There you go, Joe. I threw you a threw you a bone. I'm a little fucking bone. All hey, right, Joe. so Joe Shrek now. Um, We're going to be in touch soon to talk about Shrek. Tell him to stay Shrek, Shrek, otherwise Shrek. this Sounds joke... Sounds good. Sounds like a good Zach, topic. tell him to stay Shrek now, otherwise this joke is going to die real quick if he stops being Shrek. Now. Please stay Shrek now, but also it's a good opportunity to promote your other gigs. But stay Shrek now. Stay Shrek now for us, Joe. Can you ask, can yeah. you ask him one really quickly? Ask him really oh, yeah, quickly. i got one more question, Joe. If he's Shrek... Mm-hmm. Ask him if he's Shrek now. Is that all right if I ask you one more question? Yeah, I can probably guess what it's going to be, but yeah. Yeah, do you want to guess? Do you want to guess? If I'm Shrek now? <laughs> no. It wasn't that, actually. Is it if I'm Shrek for real or in my living room? No, no, that was not get the out, question at out, all, Joe. Get get one out, more get guess, out. mate. Get out. Are you going to hang up on me? Oh, we lost him. We lost him. We lost him there, unfortunately. I'm just going to quickly send him an apology message. You guys carry on. (laughs) Well, there it is. There's the hot scoop. Still, there it is. We still don't know for sure whether Joe is Shrek, but I'm pretty sure he is Shrek. Oh, God. Damn it, Joe Koski. Answer the fucking... Do you want me to just pretend to be Joe? What we'll do is we'll just jump ahead and then we'll call him back and we'll do it out of order if that's okay. That's a good idea. But can we leave this in? <laughs> and then... <laughs> sure. Can we just like... <laughs> leave it in order and then at the end of it pretend to call Joe? No, that's terrible. That's a terrible way to do it.
Oh, Joe's calling back. All right. We're going to get a very... <laughs> Wait, what's happening now? Just before, answer, before answer, we answer. Answer, answer, answer. It's episode three. We've got a special person. Hello, who's speaking? What? Hello? Joe. Hello? Yes, hi. Joe, Joe it's Broden Kelly. <laughs> Mark's here hey, too. Man. Is it okay? Yes. Joe, we are recapping the best podcasts of 2021, and guess what came in at number three? Number three? Uh, Phil, I'm going to find, like, a hint for him. Okay. His name's Joe. <sighs> Phil. No, Just, no, you gotta Phil. Phil. You gotta Joe, Phil. guess what came in at number three this wonderful year? I don't know. One of the ones where you fucking pranked me. No. You've got to keep feeling. No, I'm going to give him Joe. A, an audio hint. Does that make sense? Yeah, hurry up. I'm going to play him some I've audio. Re- I'm, I'm, yeah, but you should have done this earlier. Yeah, well, I didn't know we were going to call Joe. Joe. <laughs> you said a special Joe's guest. Fine. I didn't know it was going to be Joe. Joe's One busy. second, Joe. Joe. But you got to fill. Just we're getting like, a hint. Keep, keep him talking. Joe, we're getting a hint for you, Joe. Joe, we're getting a hint for you, Joe. Joe, are you doing. Uh, have you got Jersey Boys on tonight, Joe? Are you in Jersey Joe. Boys, Joe? I got the hint ready, but I'm loving the Jersey Boys. Joe, here's the hint. Bit. Do you want to hear a hint, Joe? Yes, please. All right. Joe. Joe, mate. Here's the hint, Joe. I just want to make sure you're listening, Joe. Yep. If I play it through, through here, will that be okay, yeah. Tom? Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to... We're just all organising the audio, Joe. Or should I play it through the laptop? He won't hear he that. He won't hear any of okay, that. Okay, I'll play it through the phone. <laughs> Joe. You ready, Joe? Yep, I'm ready. You listening, Joe? Yes. <laughs> Joe, it's the... <laughs> I... Romantic mission to warm the cockles of your heart. Yeah. I like my cockles room temperature. Thank you very much. Joe? Hey, if you're not yes. doing this for cockle warming, why are you doing it? Do you know that would help? Bart Watt gets his princess. I get what I want. Yep. Is... That is the original voicing of Shrek by Chris Farley before he died. So mm. put it all together. Wow, well, Cunt does his research. Cunt does yeah. his research. Cunt. Does his his research. research. Cunt, you've done your research. Put it all together. What's number three, cunt? Cunt, cunt, you do your research. I reckon you research this. What's number three, Joe? Is it Joe Shrek now? Joe, Joe now. When Uh, Joe Kosky joined us in the office for a room. It's a room, Joe. Joe, do you know what that means? This is number two of episode one. No, three. But this is number three. So this is the first it's one. Number one of episode three, which is number three. But it's number. So it's episode two. It's episode two, three. Six, four. It's episode three. It's episode two six four of episode three of the best ofs, and this is number three, the first of episode three. Sure, Joe. Do you know what that means? <laughs> Joe, that means it's another room room. <laughs> Joe, do you, <laughs> it's another room room, Joe. <laughs> Do you know it's funny? Don't get mad. Hey. It's Joe. a room room, Joe. Do you know th- th- what's funny though is we started this. I thought room zoom would be the norm. No, Joe. It's a room room. Uh, Do you know what I'm saying, Joe? Joe, he joined us and we clarified for f- for, for for we for clarified f- for the fan base that Joe is now Joe and no longer Joe Shrek now. Shrek. Not Joe. Yeah, we don't need to do that and again. And Joe, not Shrek. <laughs> we don't, but anyway, please enjoy this episode. Any last words, Joe? We can hang up. No. No, <laughs> no Joe. I, I, I wasn't going to. But now. What say you, something and I'll hang up on what, you. What are your thoughts on Room Room, Joe? Oh, we lost him. We, oh, lost, we lost him, him um, there. Now, he set himself let's... up for that. All right. We're um, going gonna to call someone now. Uh, and if you listen to our podcast, go listen to it now on your preferred platform. We like to bully a guy. Mm. Um, Good friend of ours. Joe Kosky, star of Come From Away in Sydney. Now, see it while it's on stage. See it while it's hot. Uh, he played Shrek, and he loves his tennis. Um, he, and he absolutely loves tennis. No, I, I, don't, I don't think I have his number. You don't have Joe's <laughs> number? You Facebook message him? Not Facebook. We're going we're gonna to call Joe... To get his thoughts on this semis clash, because, uh, and also I love his opinion on carpet court slash carpet call. We'll ask him. We'll say, Joe, you know carpet court. Can you sing the carpet court? Song? And if you could just run through how NFTs work. As and well. 
No, Joe? Don't do that. Joe. <laughs> Joe. Please don't. You're there, buddy. Yep. Joe, you are live, going out live on YouTube. We are going out live on YouTube. Joe Kosky, how are you, mate? You there? Speak up, Joe. We can't hear you. Oh, sorry. Go. You there, Joe? Hang on a minute. Yeah, there we go. I think it might be my connection. Joe, you're live on YouTube. Do you know what we're doing right now on YouTube? No. We're watching tennis. You love tennis. Oh, I love tennis. It's really quiet. You're really quiet, Joe. Talk up, Joe. Anyone got any tennis questions for Joe? Joe, what are the four types of tennis court? Court, yes. Floor. What, what type of floor do they play on? Okay, well, you, do you want the generalised answer or the specific answer? No, well, I want there are four. Hard court. Mm -hmm, that's correct. Obviously. Hard, yeah, but hard court uh, encompasses a wide array of materials. Well, just no, take hard court. Fine, hard's fine. This, this okay. has made the, the stream worse. Mm. Obviously, obviously, you've got uh, onto car, which is clay court. And what colour is that traditionally? Well, it's sort of an auburn terracotta. Brown. That's a type of brown. That's a type of brown. Uh, what was the uh, third one, Joe Kosky? Wimbledon uh, is a little hint there. Strawberries and cream. They don't play on the strawberries and cream. <laughs> They could, though. That'd be fun. Yeah, okay. What's Wimbledon? Um, it's on grass. And the last one, Joe? Is, well, it's hard court again, but ast AstroTurf traditional. No, Do they Joe. play on carpet, Joe? They play on carpet, Joe. Joe. Oh, they play on... You ready for this? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Joe, 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 I have a question for you, Joe. Hold up to your mic. Joe. Joe, I have a question yeah. for you, Joe. Joe, could you do me a little favour? Could you sing me the carpet court jingle from the television when you were a child? Ah. Uh, is that, um, something like, da, da, carpet court, the experts in the tree? Now, that, that that's, what's, wow. that's, that's yeah. what we thought. That's what we thought. Joe, I'm about to rock your... No, that's carpet call. Okay, well... Oh. <laughs> So, <laughs> if you're just joining us, so we've discovered we have three pieces of information. Three pieces of information. <laughs> Today we've discovered three things. One, there is a man... You fucked Mark up. There is a man <laughs> in the halls of the, of the, of the tennis, really the Rod Laver Arena. Up. I won't take that. There I won't take that. There is a man in the halls of the...